A woman accusing former Baylor University football player Sean Oakman of sexual assault took the stand today. She told the jury eight women and four men what she remembers from that night. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza live tonight outside the McLennan County Courthouse after today's testimony. Leslie Robert, a very tense day in the courtroom today. Most of the day was focused on the victim's injuries from the alleged sexual assault. We must warn you, some of the testimony is disturbing. The victim testified that on the night of April 3rd, 2016, after having several drinks and getting clearly intoxicated, she went to Sean Oakman's house and was raped in his bedroom. She claims she did not want to be there and remembers being held down by Oakman and being choked by him while he had sex with her. Earlier, sexual assault examiner Michelle Davis testified about performing an exam on the victim. She found several injuries in the woman's private area, including redness, bruising, and bleeding. Davis says these types of injuries are seen four times to 20 times more when sex is not consensual. We also heard from two of the victim's friends who were with her that night. They say the victim went home with Sean Oakman, and she remembered feeling scared, saying she wanted to leave. According to the friends, Oakman cornered her and took her to his bedroom and raped her. The friends saying her whole demeanor changed after that, saying it felt like the life had been sucked out of her. She wasn't as outgoing anymore and was anxious all the time. Now the judge says he wants to wrap up the trial by this week, maybe even as soon as tomorrow. If Oakman is found guilty, he faces anywhere between 20 to or 2 to 20 years in prison. Live in Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.